Chat GPT is a deep learning model that is designed to generate human-like text. Is an AI-powered chatbot whose answers honestly feel human. Microsoft is in talks to invest $10 billion in OpenAI, the creator of the artificial intelligence pop bot chat GPT. For $10 billion, Microsoft's always already the biggest investor in OpenAI. Chat GPT has recently taken over the internet and crossed 1 million plus users in just five days. Insane. And did you know? Microsoft is planning a $10 billion investment in OpenAI, the company behind the popular artificial intelligence tool Chat GPT. Microsoft will reportedly receive 75% of OpenAI profits until it recoups its investment, at which point the company will own 49% of OpenAI. Microsoft announced plans last year to integrate OpenAI image generation software into its search engine Bing. According to a recent information report, similar plans for ChatGPT are in the works as Microsoft attempts to compete with market leader Google Search. ChatGPT has been the talk of the tech world for several weeks. The tool is a natural language processing model, which means it is intended to generate text that appears to have been written by a human. According to Reuters, OpenAI expects 200 million in revenue next year and 1 billion by 2024 in a recent pitch to investors. OpenAI charges developers a penny or slightly more to generate 20,000 words of text and about two cents to create an image from a written prompt. Altman recently stated in a tweet that has raised concerns about OpenAI's cash burn that it spends about a few cents in computing power every time someone uses its chatbot. A Wall Street Journal report last week shows OpenAI is in talks to sell existing shares and a valuation of around $29 billion in a tender offer that would attract at least $300 million in investment. A bet on ChatGPT could aid Microsoft's efforts at web search which Google dominates. Although the company's Bing browser has a small share of the global search engine market, it is hoped that the deal will help the company chip away at Google's dominance by providing more advanced search capabilities. OpenAI, founded in 2015 by Silicon Valley entrepreneur Sam Altman, made its chat GPT available to the public in late November. Despite its potential, the project is losing money due to the overwhelming amount of pressure on its servers as a result of its virality. Altman announced that ChatGPT had reached 1 million users five days after it was released by OpenAI. Beyond the financial risks and rewards for Microsoft, the bigger prize is that it will collaborate with OpenAI to develop the technology on Microsoft Cloud, putting Microsoft at the forefront of what could be the most important consumer technology in the next decade. That's a huge win for Microsoft, especially given that rival Google helped pioneer some of the technology used by OpenAI. According to that information, Microsoft was also in talks to incorporate some of those features into its other programs such as Word and Outlook email. Microsoft's $10 billion investment is a bet that OpenAI will stay far ahead of other companies using the AI algorithms that power products like ChatGPT. However, OpenAI is likely to face stiff competition from companies such as Stability AI. It's still unclear how these new AI firms will create moats and network effects to keep competitors at bay. It is easier to make money in consumer technology with this. ChatGPT has been impressing users with its natural human-like responses to various types of questions since its launch at the end of November. It attracted its first million users in less than a week prompting speculation about whether it will become the new Google. ChatGPT, unlike a typical chatbot or intelligent assistant, is designed to respond to feedback, request clarification, and iterate on its responses based on a user's response. DALL-E, the company's image generation model that generates digital images from written prompts, is a little less talked about but far from ordinary. Microsoft's strengthening relationship with OpenAI the company is going above and beyond to enhance AI capabilities in order to gain a competitive advantage over its competitors in the digital transformation era. Microsoft, we believe, is capitalizing on the rapid adoption of supercomputing systems, which is expected to be a key catalyst for the company. 
According to research and markets, the global supercomputer market is expected to reach 21.7 billion by 2026 at a CAGR of 19.1%. Microsoft's Azure OpenAI service is a fully managed and enterprise-focused product that provides customers with enhanced access to OpenAI technologies. Microsoft allows businesses to use large-scale models under this banner. Microsoft began integrating GPT-3 in its low-code app development platform, Power Apps, in 2021, allowing users with little to no coding knowledge to build apps. In May of 2022, the company launched an Azure Cognitive Services service, extending its long-standing partnership with OpenAI. Microsoft expanded the umbrella of services to include additional pay-as-you-go use cases. Customers can use Codex and other responsible AI tools in addition to GPT-3. A fun fad, but can it make money? Dolly 2 and ChatGPT have been delighting users with computer-generated paintings and volatile conversations, but they also have received a lot of criticism. Artists are concerned not only about the ease with which text-to-image AI can generate art, but also about the source of the data used to train it. And despite the disclaimer that it can sometimes provide erroneous or incomplete answers, ChatGPT is being used to cheat on student exams. Aside from moral concerns, there is also the issue of money. OpenAI, like many other tech startups, is reportedly losing money rather than making more. Images of Doll E2 can be purchased for a few cents each, which is a start. However, Altman stated on Twitter that ChatGPT's computing costs are only a few cents per chat. It is currently free to use. However, Microsoft may have the plan to monetize OpenAI's work. Aside from the $10 billion investment, rumors suggest that Microsoft may try to incorporate ChatGPT's capabilities into its internet search afterthought. Bing, bing, bang, like Alphabet's Google search is primarily supported by advertisements. So Microsoft clearly hopes that ChatGPT and internet search forms will attract more attention, increasing the value of advertising. Dolly 2 and ChatGPT could also be added to Microsoft's current suite of software, which is used by both individuals and businesses. Only your imagination limits the possibilities. Adding an AI assistant to speed up work could help Microsoft gain more users and raise service prices. Sounds interesting? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment letting us know what you think. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. See you at the next one.